everyone and welcome back to Tales from the Green with me, Emily. This is our special story space where we celebrate the rich and diverse community that we have here at Newington Green. And today's story is a story from West Africa, from Ghana, and it involves a rather tricky character. Would you like to hear it? Okay, here we go. A long time ago, when spiders could talk. And Nancy, the Spider-Man, was out in his garden in the hot, hot sun. He was digging for yams. They're a bit like sweet potatoes. He was digging for yams and he dug up six juicy yams. And he thought, mmm, I'm going to bake these yams. And he took them inside baked them in the oven and they came out piping hot. The smell was delicious and he put them down on the table and he sat down and got ready to eat these yams. He picked one up and was just about to bite into the juicy yam when he heard a knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, thought Anansi, what could that be? And he opened the door and there was his friend Turtle. Turtle was tired and he was very, very hungry. Oh, oh, hello, Anansi. Oh, I've walked all the way from the river to your house to, to see you and I'm so tired. Is that yams you've got, Anansi? Oh, oh, my tummy. It's so empty. You, you wouldn't want to share some yams with me. Well, Anansi knew that when a visitor came to your house, you should share what you have with them. This was the law of the land. But he didn't want to share the yams. He wanted to eat them for himself. He invited Turtle in. Come in, Turtle. Sit yourself down. Turtle sat down at the table and saw the juicy yams in front of him. Oh, Anansi, thank you. Turtle reached out to pick up a juicy yam. He lifted it towards his beaky mouth. But Anansi shouted, stop right there. Turtle, what bad manners. Turtle didn't know what Anansi was talking about. What, 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 what is it, Anansi? Look at your hands, Turtle. They're filthy dirty. I can't believe you come here to my house and try and eat my food and you haven't even washed your hands. Turtle was embarrassed. He looked. His hands were very dirty because, you see, he'd walked all the way to Anansi's house on his little hands. Oh, Anansi, I... I'm so sorry. How rude of me. I'll go and wash them at once. And Turtle got up and he went out of the house and walked slowly, slowly, slowly back to the river. When he got there, he washed his hands quick, 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 quick. And then he walked all the way back slowly, slowly, slowly. Meanwhile, when Turtle was gone, Anansi looked at these six delicious yams sitting on the table and he couldn't help himself. He started to eat them. He ate one. He ate two. He ate three. And then there was the knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. When he opened it, there was Turtle. <sighs> I'm back, Anansi. I went all the way to the river. Oh, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat the... And Turtle noticed that there were only three yams left on the plate. Anansi, did you start eating the yams without me? Well, said Anansi, you know, I, I, I didn't want them to get cold, Turtle. I mean... What's a spider to do? Anyway, there's three left. Come and sit down. Come and sit down. And so Turtle sat down and he picked out one of the remaining yams and he brought it up to his lips. And as soon as he was about to bite into it, Anansi shouted, Stop right there. Turtle, I thought I told you to wash your hands. Look at them. They're still filthy. Turtle looked at his hands. Of 
course they were. Because after he'd washed them in the river, he'd walked all the way back to Anansi's house and got them all dirty again. Oh, Anansi. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'm going to go and wash my, my hands again. Now, now, you won't eat any more of the yams. You, you'll wait for me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And Turtle, off he went slowly, slowly, all the way down to the river. And when he got there, he washed his hands. Quick, 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 quick. And this time, he made his way back to Anansi's house, walking on the grass, so he didn't get his hands dirty. Slowly, slowly. Meanwhile, Anansi was looking at those uh, last three yams, and he couldn't help himself. <laughs> he ate one yam up. <laughs> He ate the other yam. And the last yam. <laughs> All of those yummy, warm yams in his belly. Greedy, Anansi. And then there was the knock at the door. Knock, knock, knock. And when the door opened, Turtle said, Look, look, my, my hands are clean, Anansi. Uh, and Turtle noticed the empty plate on the table. Oh, I see. So you invite me in to have food with you, Anansi, and then when I'm gone, you eat it all up. Oh, well, you know, said Anansi again. Look, they were getting cold, and to be fair, you were gone a long time. And what's a spider to do, huh? I see, said Turtle. Thanks, Anansi. Thank you so much for your hospitality. I tell you what, you know what, you should come to my house sometimes and, and, and I'll return the favour to you. Hmm. And off Turtle went slowly, slowly back to the river. He was tired, he was cross and he was very, very hungry. Well, the days passed, the weeks passed and Anansi didn't even really think about Turtle at all. He didn't care. He was a greedy, selfish spider. But one day he was looking for something to eat and he was looking all over the house. He opened up the fridge. Mm, nothing there. Opened up the cupboards. Oh, nothing there. Opened up the drawers. Oh. <laughs> opened up the bread bin. Mm. <laughs> the biscuit jar. Oh. There was no food anywhere in the house. And Anansi's tummy began to rumble. And that's when he remembered what Turtle said. <gasps> Turtle invited me to his house. Now would be a good time to go. And the spider began to drool as he thought about a free meal. <gasps> so he got his jacket on and he left the house and he made his way down to the river where Turtle lived. It was a hot, hot day and it took a long, long time. So by the time Anansi got there, he was hot and he was tired. He reached the riverbank and he saw Turtle lying on a rock, sunbathing. Hello, Anansi, said Turtle. I see you've come to visit me. I bet you're up for a lovely meal, huh? Oh, yes, Turtle. Oh, yes, I, I'd love to have dinner with you, if that's okay. I, I remember that, that, that you said that I should come to, to your house and you'd repay the, the favour. Oh, do you know, I'm starving. Oh, so excited. <laughs> Turtle said, very good, Anansi. I'll just go and get everything ready. And Turtle jumped into the water and swam down, down, down to the bottom of the river where was his house. And he laid the table with lots of delicious food that turtles eat, probably things like fish and seaweed, little nibbles, and it looked wonderful. And Nancy stuck his head under the water and he saw the amazing feast being laid out. <gasps> oh. And then Turtle popped his head up and said, Nancy, dinner is served. Come on down and join me. And he disappeared back down, down, down to the table at the bottom of the river. And Nancy was drooling. His tummy was rumbling. He was so excited. He jumped into the river and he swam down, 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 down. But because his body was so light, he started coming back up again. Zoom, 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 boom. 
Oh, and he popped out of the river. Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm too light to stay down. I'm going to try again. Okay, I'll try again. And he dove down, 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 down. And he could see turtle and all the food. But again, zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, oh. he was too light to stay down. He crawled out of the river and he sat on the river bank, his tummy still rumbling. And Turtle's little head popped up and he had a funny little twinkle in his eye. So, Anansi, are you coming down for dinner? You should hurry. I wouldn't want to eat it all up without you. Um, yes, yes, Turtle, um, I'll be right there. I'm, I'm just coming. Turtle dove down and started to eat up the food. And Nancy looked around. I'm too light. I'm too light. How can I? What can I? Ah, I need something to weigh me down. And Nancy looked all the way along the river bank and he see lots of rocks and pebbles. And he started to fill his jacket po pockets with them. Maybe you can count with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five pebbles in that side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we need some in this side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, oh, the jacket was heavy. Surely this would weigh him down to the bottom so he could join the feast. And Nancy threw himself into the river and floated down, 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 down. And when he got to the bottom, he sank into a chair. Hey, turtle. I'm here. Look at all. Have you started? It's fine. It's fine. I'm here. I'm here now. Can't wait to eat some of this delicious food, Turtle. What treats you've laid on. And Nancy reached out for a lovely little bit of fresh fish. And he was just about to put it in his mouth when Turtle shouted, Stop! Right there. And Nancy thought, what, 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 what is it, Turtle? Nancy. What bad manners. But I, I wash my hands. <laughs> no, Nancy. You're sitting at the table with your jacket on. You can't do that. Jackets and coats at the dinner table. Not good manners at all. Take your coat off. Nancy said, um, huh, yes, Turtle, um, how, um, yes, how rude of me. Where are my manners? And and that spider began to take his jacket off slowly, slowly, slowly. And as soon as the jacket slipped from his body, that spider shot up to the surface. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh! And Nancy dragged himself over to the riverbank. He couldn't get back down. All he could do now was put his head in the water and watch Turtle. Mm. Very nice. Eating all the food. And when he'd finished, Turtle swam up and put his little head out of the river. Oh, and Nancy, I'm sorry. Do you know what, Turtle? It, it, it's all right. I, I think I know what's going on here. When you came to my house, I was rude and I ate all the yams. And now the same things happen to me. I guess what goes around comes around, doesn't it, Turtle? Turtle smiled. I tell you what, said Anansi. Why don't you come to my house next week and I will cook you dinner. And it will be the most delicious dinner you have ever tasted. And I promise... You will not go away from my house hungry, ever. And Turtle said, thank you, Nancy. I'd really like that. And do you know what? And Nancy was as good as his word. He invited Turtle round to a delicious meal of juicy hot baked yams. And they ate their fill. And from that day on, any time anyone knocked on Nancy's door, he invited them in to dinner. And no one ever went away with an empty tummy. The end. 
Well, I do hope you enjoyed that story about Anansi the spider. Lots of stories involving Anansi are about how tricky and clever he is. But I like this one because it gives us a little lesson. What goes around comes around. Be kind and true is my message to you. See you next time. Bye.